Where's after and Yarl? Will he be here? Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Lovina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Captain doesn't know our plan. He'll hear the aftermath soon enough. Be a good fight. I faith in it. Better its plan had better be sound. Let us hope that better its army. Are the shields ready? The battle is near. <laughs> On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every couple, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. 
We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Yuvina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. These Picts came in great numbers. They came to fight. If this is a trick, do what you must. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> The kingdom has spoken!
need to control the heat. For Thor! For Ragnar! For Halfdan! Ah, oh, the sweet taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Halfdan. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow.
and more big skulls to my hammer. There! He's fleeing to the north. You meet the spirits this day, traitor. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness, a, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. The Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom.
Moira, it's Hafton about. Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside with Farabed. They shouldn't be far. With my blade at your side, all will fear and turn. I have never danced with anyone before. Ah, a thirsty foe? Drink it down faster than me. You take the prize. Ah, is it the silver or the courage you are lacking?
appreciate. I struggle to be surprised. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. <laughs> Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon! I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this phrase. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Sheath your weapon, of it. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Hafton, stop! This is a man of honor! You stand beside this. this traitor? I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. Halfdan Ragnarsson, Wolf of War, Lord of Jorvik, Ruler of Men! I am King! Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. Days yet to come, men will sing the praises of Haftan and scorn the life of Faravid the Betrayer. You are the hero of a coward's tale. A man who hid behind his best men and claimed their victories for his own. You are banished. Out! Never again set foot in my lands! Thank you, King. I... No more. Leave me. Let's go. 
hold the wolf's tail. Is there trouble? What's the problem? You are fearfully quiet, Abel. One should never break a silence without reason. I fear for Northumbria, now that Hafton is king. Many may suffer if his madness goes unchecked. And who is to blame for his madness, Ferevit? I should demand an apology for that, but there is no need. Soon I shall be long gone, far away across the whale road where the fates guide me. End of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know about the goblets? The lid? Now's the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. Let's tell her the good news.
rubbish. You had discarded it. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You'll state your cases and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. The scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. 
That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. Now you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your Jarl, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself? My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. Thank you, Holger. And please, do not let this blunt our friendship. I did not mean for this to escalate. Good day, my love. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. <laughs>